And we're back. That almost ran 50 because I didn't realize. Right, so we need to go back out. And we go this way. Don't you touch no. <coughs> Sorry again. No, don't touch anything. Ah, frig. No, will you fuck off? Come here! Go away! Stupid bird! Stay! I don't want you! I'm playing! No! Okay, okay. American Times Reader's Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I'm tr I am troubled deeply. Oh no, I am tr Oh, no wait. What? I am troubled, deeply troubled. Okay, that's weird. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Pomerade Pomer is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No, if the heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles, 69. More explosive rounds. What time is it? Okay. Um. Ooh. Oh, freak! He is not dead. Oh, crud! Run, 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 run!
Wait, before I do anything, yeah, thought so. I'm not about to hit, am I? Oh, no, I'm fine. <coughs> Sorry. Still suffering from the cold slash flu. Through the gate! Carlos! The least you can do is run slower than me! <coughs> Sorry again. Ooh, smart. Looks like I missed something over there. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now there will be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. You want me to go first? Okay. <coughs> Good work! Your Let reputation is well deserved. Get inside, the subway is about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bard. This isn't the last man out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right, you go on ahead. I'm not gonna die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel Carlos' world. <laughs> okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're lonely. You don't like that mutants is wrong. Good luck. Let's go! Oh, my leg. Bye. Are you worried about 
15 minutes. Not a sound of anything else. Planning a brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. But the gate was locked. Oh. <laughs> 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 Who's that? Oh, all the civilians are oh, dead. Oh, fucker, they're dead. They're gone. Come, this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not that. <laughs> Mikhail still got his ass on death. I'm glad. If anyone did, this doesn't deserve their death to be caught. Hey! Shut up! No squawking! <coughs> that has been a while. Somebody's gotta be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, she's not like that. I know she's not like anybody. Because I'm playing as Carlos? <gasps> the right. graveyard! Mio, this is the police station. You sure? Shush. It looks like a cemetery. Hey! I said shut up! No squawking! You're being noisy! No! I'm playing! No! No! Hey, oh, I got sudden dizziness. Uh, what does he have? He's got a handgun, an assault rifle, 200 assault rifle fins. Okay, I'll keep the handgun on for now. That's probably s better. Alright, you're gonna stay there. Okay. Brad, stop! T! Damn it, Marvin! Wait, how'd they talk? I didn't know that the zombies could talk. Shit, it's locked! You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get some! Oh, come on, how am I missing? Making sure he's double dead. I need cat. These stars. That could be useful. Before I do anything, I'm gonna check around here. <laughs> Email outbox. Sender Lucy Yen. Subject dispersal complete. Send September 26th, 2 35 a.m. Department and chaos after spread of infection. Multiple citizens take a refuge here and infected. All files related to you successfully disposed of and in further orders. Sender Lucy Yen, subject ongoing developments, sent September 27th, 3.05 a.m. Communications intercepted from S. Hosp, Hosp on Stars. 
private communications line, presumed to be evac request shut up from B. Will you please be quiet? If you're not quiet, I'm putting you in your cage. Yeah? Good boy. No, don't peep. No. Possible he will flee the hospital and come here. Rescue, uh, request UBCS dispatch. I will evacuate with their assistance. Send a Lucy in. Subject evacuation request. Shut the fuck up, I you? No bite in. Go on, get off. Off. I'll put you in cage in a bit. Being noisy and naughty. No. No. Subject evacuation request sent September 27th. Left it. Shut up! That's it. No. You come here. I'm putting you in cage now. Even though you're still going to be noisy. Actually, no. You know what? I'm not. Here. I'll give you some millet. That'll shut you up. Because you're being noisy. Of a note. Come on then. Uh, don't bite. There you go. Yeah. Ugh. Stupid bird. Right, you'll be good. No squawking now. Yeah. You can say whatever you want. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. Oh god, I'm dizzy now. I need to put my glasses on. Uh, requested evac has not yet arrived. This position is com becoming untenable. I meant here with my with the condition my safety would be guaranteed. Oh, if I'm left to die here, well, I will distribute proof of collusion and corruption between you and RC's civic leaders. And you you have one hour to deliver a response. Sorry, poster boy. <laughs> Somebody didn't have time to put his blues on. Leon. Oh, you can't even go here. That's not fair. When where does all this get? But then, like, this is before clearing Leo. Oh, ooh. There we go. The box is taped up. Take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep them under our thumbs. So, this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. <coughs> Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get it through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful! Yeah. You too, man. I'm going to look around a bit. Uh, that's just coming up. And I can make... Film. Oh, I think that's just clear. 
the last that's just covered up too. Now here's a weird fucking door. <laughs> Oh, and you can't get up there either. But there's an item somewhere over it, up here. So, I might as well search the other side anyway. So does that mean like Marvin like uncloths everything to set up the puzzles for Ari 2? Oh, there's my hang on ammo. Sorry. Uh, they have a door. ID card security protocols. September 16th, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not issue your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. RPD facility maintenance department. So I guess this is for the ah. Lickers. Wait, why am I worried about liquors? Liquors are the easiest things. Just don't run. Oh, it's the guy. Goodness this is the Ari 2 guy. Oh, the Ari 2 guy again. Oh, that's so nice. I didn't stick around. Uh, here we go. Oh, come on. There's still something in this room. Ah, there it is. Flash grenade. Oh, the pallets out there. So what, Marvin sets up the pallets too? Right, let's walk, because there could be liquors.
So I'm just funny arrest part. Name Rodney Gray, occupation unemployed, former electrician. Charges on lawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative. Suspect was seen behaving strangely at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Success suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from inside his pocket uh, from in from his inside pocket. Leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of the subject's home found more than 20 additional home explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when, begin when questioning began and at one point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from Suspect. Once questioning was resumed, Suspect made the following statements. I didn't do, I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpse is attacked from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them, burn the corpses, burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and the sedative was administered. Note, due to the suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Interrogating Officer Wes Drucker. <coughs> oh, I can't solve Leon's yeah. locker. Well, Leon, bet you had a kick ass first day. <laughs> ah, this. Now, hold on a minute. I'm just gonna go to Google really quick. Because if you use the same locker is you know the same safe combinations hold on because I don't re I don't rightly remember all of them here we go so first for 9 oh, wrong way 9 15 7 e No, leave it. Right. There's no more safes at this point. Or at least, like, you know, not any that you could rightly get. Oh. <coughs> oh, come on. The dodging still is a little bit stupid. Apparently, still something. What's there? Come the heck on. I'm guessing this is still a safe room, right? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna be saving and coming off. Uh, I'm gonna keep everything on me right now, no point in putting anything away. 